In this video, what I want to do is show you an application of vectors. Remember that vectors have both magnitude and direction. So the reason that this one is considered a vector application is because we have a boat that is sailing on a bearing of 62 degrees. So this would be our rotate or our, our direction for 129 miles, which would be our magnitude. And it's going to turn and sail 203 miles on a bearing of 193 degrees. And we want to know how far is the boat from its original starting point. So when we are doing this, we do want to draw a picture. So we're going to start off with a point. So this is our starting point. And I'm going to draw a northward direction here because when we have a bearing of 62 degrees, we're always going to start from the north and we are going to rotate 62 degrees or whatever it's given to us um, clockwise. So we're going to rotate 62 degrees and that's going to give me the direction that the boat is sailing and we are going a total of 129 miles in this direction. Okay. There is an imaginary eastward line here that I'm going to use to help me in a few minutes. So this would just represent north. This would represent an eastward direction. At this point here, we are turning and rotating 193 degrees from our current rotation. So that's going to put us more than 180 and back a little bit more. And that would give me my next direction where I'm going to travel 203 miles. So this little angle inside here, because this is a 90 degree or it, because I went 180 plus 13 more, this angle would be at 13 degrees right here. Okay, what we're going to do is use the fact that I have a right triangle that's formed here. And I'm going to say that this point, my turning point is point B. Okay. And then what we have is this is going to be point C or my final point. And what I'm like trying to find is what is my distance from A to C? That's going to give me how far the boat is from the original starting point if I were to measure it directly. All right, so let's find a few things. The first thing that we want to do is find this angle here. And we can do that by using the fact that I have a right triangle. And that in a right triangle, the other two angles that are not the right angle are complementary. So what I'm going to do is 90 minus 62, which gives me 28 degrees. And that's going to give me this angle here. Okay. Then I'm going to use the fact that this whole thing again forms a right angle. So to find angle ABC, I'm going to do 90 minus the sum of 28 and 13. Okay. And the reason I'm doing the 28 and the 13 is because this little angle here is 28, this little angle is 13, and together all three of them add up to be the 90 degree angle. And so this ends up giving me, when I find this difference, it ends up giving me 49 degrees. Okay, so 49 degrees is my angle inside of here. So what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using triangle A, B, and C. Okay, so we're looking at this purple triangle right here. We are given that the side length is 129. Angle B is 49 degrees, or angle ABC, I should say, because I have more than one angle at that point. And then the other side is 203 miles. So I have the relationship side, angle, side. And remember that when I am given this relationship of side, angle, side, that we are going to use law of cosines to help solve for the missing side. Okay, so law of cosine, remember, says that I can take any side because of the fact that I'm basically finding opposite of B, which is little b, or side AC, you can label it either way. This is going to be equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine angle B. Okay, so what we're going to do is just plug in the information that we know. We don't know B squared. We know that A is the side opposite of angle A, which is 203. B, 
and I put B in there twice. This is, hold on one second, let me fix the formula. This should be C up here. Okay, so we would have 203 squared plus 129 squared minus 2 times 203 times 129 cosine of 49 degrees. So what we need to do is we just need to find the square root of this, and that's what we're going to plug into our calculator. Okay, so I'm just using the TI-84 graphing calculator. You can use any type of scientific calculator or graphing calculator to find your answer. So I'm gonna do the second of the square root, 129 squared, and it's best to just put this all in at once. Let me put it in the same way that I put it in on the paper. 203 squared plus 129 squared minus two times 203 times 129 times cosine of 49 degrees. And make sure before you hit enter that your mode is set up in degree mode and not radians. If you are in radians, you will get the wrong answer. So when we solve this, we end up with 153.263 approximately. Okay, so we can say that the boat is approximately 153 miles from its starting point. Okay, so the key to solving these problems is to make sure that you draw the picture correctly. And then after you draw the picture, depending upon the information that you are given, remember if you're given side angle side or all three sides and you use law of cosines to find missing information, if you are given angle angle side or angle side angle, then you would use law of sines to help you find the missing information. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.